She already comboed with Ashton Danley, one of their top freshmen, for a, a shutout of Stanford earlier this season, one of her highlights. Offensively and defensively. Mudge, busy early with room two down. To each side of the plate. First pitch swinging will chase Danley back to the track, and it's gone. Abby Dukesher continues swinging a hot bat for Bama. A 1-0 lead for the Tide, who are 12-0 this season when they score in the first inning, and 18-0 on the season when they score first in a game. Sixth home run of the year for Abby Dukesher, who just gets all in to that rise ball at the top of the zone that we talked about. And this one's a little bit off speed. You can see the way it's flipping in, spinning in the opposite direction, and Dukesher is not fooled by it. And she punishes this pitch and just sends it right over the center field wall. Pitching ERA is much higher than they're used to around here. And that's lofted out towards Mudge. Back it goes, and it's off the wall. Giles will stand up at second. So a home run followed by a double in the heart of the order. Being unbeaten. Right back up the middle, through the legs of Royalty out to center. Giles will try and score. Throw to the plate is not in time. Two, nothing tied as Dowling picks up the ribby. Well, right now, Royalty is just a little bit too much over the plate. That hit by Giles was a one-two pitch. of the order for Alabama. And already some bullpen activity. Emma Broadfoot gets underneath it. Devin Flaherty with the catch. A home run, a double, and an RBI single. And it's gotten them to the championship series in Oklahoma City three times in five years. Slow roller to second base. Hevelin's only play is to first. Mudge into scoring position with two down. Induce the swing and miss. Enfield. Hevelin stays down on it. And that'll sneak inside the bag at first. Base hit for Kendall Clark to lead off the inning. Defending champions in the regular season and the tournament last year. This might be two. Flaherty with the tag. The throw to first. Double play. And that's one of the things you're used to seeing from Florida State is typically really good pitching in the circle and a great defense behind those pitchers. A little trickler right out in front. And the two out base hit for Bama. Really, really well. And so when you look at the analytics, you're like, oh, okay, I probably would start royalty as well. Hevlin lifts that one deep center field back towards the track and room to make the catch for Dan Lee. Ross draws the two-out walk. That's the second walk issued by Beaver this, this year. If they can get her on the move, there she goes. But Danley, a swing and miss. Olivia, a little side note, beat them as a freshman as well. Oh, and there's a base hit for Abby Dukesher. And she draws the walk. That'll bump Dukesher over. Dowling, and another base hit, and this will load them up for Alabama. At the shoulders. Popped up in foul territory. Ross under it. Now a couple lefties. Kahalen grounded into a double play, first time up, and she pops it up. Flaherty under it. Reed comes on and works her way out of it. Clawed their way in. Devin Flaherty, and on the run, Kahalen able to get to it. The number nine batter retired. Ground ball to short. Kahalen charges, fires, two down. Slow roller down the line. That's a fair ball, and Dowling takes care of it. A one, two, three inning in the bottom of the third. It's a tough ticket to get. Base knock out to center. And White in that nine spot in the lineup with two hits. This bunt is in play. Only play is to first. Flaherty there to cover. 
One down on the sacrifice gets White into scoring position. Hard shot to third, checking the runner is Beecham over to first, two down. Popped up in foul territory, and on the run is Ross to make the catch. And another one stranded for the Tide. And back up the middle, backhanded Hevlin's got a hustle, and there's the first hit of the night. Draws the walk, and the tying run aboard. The go-ahead will come to the plate for Florida State. It's the third walk from Beaver. Got him. Chase the rise out of the zone, one down. Where is really stepping back. Look how far up the plate she is. Ground ball to second. Hevlin charges over to first, two down. And two in scoring position now for Florida State. Velo for Kayla Beaver can get up in the 70s. And so that one gets away from Giles. Runner to the plate. And safe at home is Harding. Florida State on the board. Ross gets a hold of one. Fly ball out to left. And Jenna Johnson is there to make the catch. Side retired. He's similar for so many amazing softball players in the 1970s that yes. really got the sport rolling. Florida State got one in the bottom of the fourth. Rick to short. Torres fires over to first, diving back in safely as Giles. Good play by Issa. A little bit up the middle. 1-1 one, one pitch, Torres snags it again. Two nice plays on liners for the new shortstop, replacing the legendary Josie Muffley there. And Torres up the middle against Dowling, and then a little bit more going into the gap first. Haven't been anybody to get back since. It's Lope to the right side, and Waycaser is there for Beaver. Induced a lot of ground balls, and she laces that one out to left, and it gets by Jenna Johnson. And the tying run at second base for Florida State. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mudge, hot shot to second. <laughs> Hevlin's got it. Tying run moving over to third. <laughs> Tried to check it and could not. The strikeout with the tying run at third, and Alabama stays in front two to one. Popped up and over the shoulder <laughs> catch made by Torres. She's had multiple web gems tonight, two down. Well, I just love the way she goes to the ball, right? That great first step, positioning. Sometimes she's leveraged in a good spot. This one she's in because she's respecting the speed of White. And it's very easy to get a little negative at times. Johnson draws the walk. Hedlin gets a hold of one. Back that goes to the base of the wall. And gone. Danley had a shot at it, and it clears the fence. On Hedlund, you could just tell the way she was locked in, that foul ball prior, the way that she was seeing the ball, that bat angle, you knew that she had all that power going the opposite way. That's her third home run of the year. This is a pitch that is up in the zone, and she just barrels it up, stays inside of it, and goes the opposite way with it. So a pitch on the outer half, a backdoor curveball, that's a little bit too sweet. Look at the way the front foot is down, the head is down, the barrel. Just tracking that ball, connecting, going opposite field into the gap. And Hevlin with that third home run. That's a big two-run shot. Picked up a win. Ground ball to Torres. She'll gobble that up. Side retired. Got your little table there for your snacks. Edenfield chases out of the zone. Two big outs for Johnson. Ground ball to Kahalen. A. Lee Johnson taking care of the three, four, five hitters. Giles chops that to beat him at third. One down. Beat him, nice backhand, two down. 
Beecham, the trifecta at third base. <laughs> I love it. A 1-2-3 Beecham inning. Torres snagged at second by Hedlund, who climbs the ladder. One down. That's two jacks against the Jack Rabbits yesterday. That's right. <laughs> Ross, did she get enough of it? Back to the base of the wall, and oh. the catch is made by Kristen White. Daly ripped one back up the middle. Still alive. Clearly into foul territory, and it's caught by Bailey Dowling for the final out. And Alabama with a pair of home runs tonight and a two-hitter from Kayla Beaver and Ailey Johnson hits the road for the win, 4-1 to one over Florida State. Mm-hmm. <laughs>